Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for Beat TV, and this is part two of our V Pipe interview. I sat down with Arnold Wallstein, who is the chief marketing officer for V Pipe, and shared some interesting thoughts on what is going to happen this year and beyond with social video and the opportunities that it represents. So, Arnold, uh, we talked with Shoab, your CEO, about what uh, V Pipe is all about. I want to talk to you a little bit about competitive positioning and have you explain sort of for, for users who are used to YouTube for video or who are used to Ustream or live stream how you fit in that ecosystem. Easy. So let's deal with YouTube first. Um, we're live. We're interactive. We're into sharing. I mean YouTube is wonderful. I use it every day. I VJ constantly. But it is something that you take videos, upload them, and then use within the infrastructure of that. It's not a sharing medium as much as it is going to something and viewing them. Um, on the other side of the paradigm is everyone from like live stream to use stream to live stream down to Justin and what these are is really video streaming companies um, their goal in life is to become the internet streaming medium some of them are more focused on events some of them are more focused on networks and programming but their goal is to actually become a channel based upon advertising even though some of our technologies may intersect and cross that's not who we want to be what we want to do is to make video the next data type for social media. We believe that it's the last piece and the last frontier for social media is that you can actually see people. I mean, we have the ability now to chat, we have the ability to share photographs, we have the ability to link to YouTube videos. We don't have the ability to say, I want to send a message to you and to click a button and send you a little note to your wall saying, how you doing? Like my new shirt. Or, or send a Valentine's greeting to your girlfriend or to send a present to someone else or to send a birthday greeting or to get a bunch of people that can interact in a kind of video WebEx way. We've developed a very simple, easy technology that lets video be very light, be very inexpensive to store and to use, and working very hard to make it very easy so that people are comfortable in using it as a means to share. Social video is uh, one of the areas that was cited by the online audience measure measurement firm Hitwise as being an area uh, that early adopters are just starting to get into, which is good and encouraging for you. Talk a little bit about what you see as the opportunities here and sort of where are we on the, uh, the wave or the spectrum of social video. I would say that our, the tips of our toes are not off the front of the surfboard um, quite yet, but I think that we're riding the wave and I think we're just starting and I think it could go very very quickly. Um, what I think VPipe has done and I'm sure other people are working on it as well is make it easy and not make it costly. So if you make it easy to use and fun then everyone can use it and if you make it inexpensive then that will generate the use for it to go along. So I think that this year it will get a lot of penetration, especially within large social platforms such as Facebook. Does VPipe work on mobile phones? Um, soon. Soon, as a viewer. I mean, you know, the for all investors and all developers and all people who are interested in technology, there's three circles that you want to be in the center of. You know, social, mobile, you know, and global, right? Um, that's Facebook, you know, um, and so we will work in the center of that as well. And the phone will both be a viewing for people to view because lots of people don't have computers, especially in developing countries, but it will also will turn out to be something that you can generate the video and the message back into your network. Excellent. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you.